Hello guys, and now I want to introduce you a new game Dark and Darker. It seems that whenever a new medieval multiplayer game hits Steam it popularly rises. And the Dark and Darker demo is now doing just that. The catch is that it's a haste that's a bit like a battle royale, only you have to escape with the loot you find. You and three other people enter the dark maze-like dungeon at the same time as a bunch of other people. And over time the danger zone closes around you and forces you against each other until its winner is determined. Also, just like in battle royale games, you equip yourself as you play by finding and searching chests and areas for better equipment and consumables like health potions and bandages. However, there is something more going on there. Let's start with what you specialize in by the class. There are rogues, rangers, barbarians, wises, clerics, etc. And each one has unique things they can do. And in the case of magic users, spells. And they can be upgraded and given benefits as your character grows. The game also has some persistence, which allows you to buy and equip better equipment and weapons, as well as replenish supplies between dungeon devs, although this depends on whether you make it out of the dungeons you explore and sketch it. If you don't find the portal to exit the dungeon, the swarm the storm will get you and you will live with nothing. The only thing to be aware of is that the dungeons also have computer control enemies like skeletons, so this is a PvPvA game. The game is awkward, dark and tense. It's a game about moving forward carefully and not making too much noise or drawing too much attention to yourself with a roaring torch, although everything you do seems to make noise and you want to be able to see much in some places without a torch. It's awkward, like all first-person melee games where you're swinging weapons and holding shields while trying to deal with what's in front of you, and it's not the most difficult game of its kind. What you can do in combat seems pretty rudimentary, but then I've only played as a cleric who isn't a type that specializes in melee. The battles I saw were a confused melee of people rushing back and forth trying to take advantage of long distances without getting hit. Spells and the idea of balanced party lineup expand the possibilities here, especially when you factor in healing but spells take time, require aiming and can only be used in limited numbers. There's a memorization system that drives this that I haven't quite figured out yet. It seems to penalize you for memorizing more spells rather than fewer, but it's not very well explained. Woody though it may be. It's a compelling mix. The odds work, particularly on the character portraits and loading screens, it's very evocative. It has a bit of Warhammer in it, the same grim. And while the reality of the gameplay doesn't quite live up to it, it's still capable of changing the way you look with the flickering of torches and the beckoning of stone corridors. I don't know how long it will stay interesting, but I'm glad it's having a moment, I can see why. So that was a review on a beautiful game called Duck and Ducker. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, bye.